Good morning, beautiful people. It is 11.55. We had class till like 9.30 because we had our midterm. I got a 49 out of 51. What'd you get, Jen? Same. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. It was not too bad, actually. Except two of my questions were repeated, so that was funny. Today's gonna be a what I eat in a day. Or, yeah. I don't really eat the same thing every day. It depends on the day and my classes. Like yesterday, I had an 11 o'clock class and then I had to go immediately to another class till 5 o'clock and then I had my guitar midterm till 5.30. We had a break in our camera class and I had a quick like bite but that was basically the first time I ate. <laughs> so some days are not great for scheduling and other days I, I feel like every time I FaceTime my parents I'm eating so yeah. <laughs> so very inconsistent, so we're just gonna go off whatever we do today. Uh, right now we're gonna make breakfast. I'm gonna make poached eggs and English muffins, and then we have our cuties and apples, just a couple left. I'm making arena de maiz. That's good. Well, it's basically just cornmeal. Making some scrambled eggs as well on my side, and put some surprise in there. I put a surprise. Is it the croissants? Maybe. <laughs> we have a roll of croissants. We have to make so. Yeah, we're gonna go do that. Let's go cook. Okay, this isn't really food, but I take it. I just started taking these because I got a Dormify package. Anyways, they sent me these vitamin things and I've just been trying them. I, I don't know if they work yet because I literally have only used them like two days. So, <laughs> like two or three days. But the first one, both of them you take twice a day or two a day is what I mean. But this one's just a multivitamin. So I just take two of those, just some water. I was also sent this. It's Chamberlain coffee um, mug. And then the other one is De-Stress, also two. They have a little mint tab thing in here to keep it fresh, so they kind of just taste like mint. But this one smells a little more earthy. <laughs> two of those. All right, and we're set. Cheers. We decided to use, or John decided, the smart decision of using this cart instead of having to bring like six bags. So, multi-used, groceries, kitchen food, laundry, yes. Croissant time. Now, as a half French person, I feel inclined to say, these, I realize, these are nowhere near a good croissant, okay? We got these to make breakfast sandwiches and then never end up getting turkey bacon, so we just have them. This one's also just oddly shaped. <laughs> it's actually a really funny inside joke with my family about croissants now because my mom and I decided to try keto um, a couple years back. So you don't eat any carbs, basically. We went on a family trip to New York and we were like, you know what, let's just enjoy ourselves. Like we were getting tired of keto. All we were eating was like eggs and Parmesan crisp stuff and random fruits. It was really weird. Um, <laughs> so we decided to get a croissant at the bakery in the train station and we were eating it and we're like, wow. This is so good. This is like one of the best I've ever eaten. And my mom is like French, so like she knows good food. And my brother and dad are like looking at us like, what are you guys talking about? This thing is dry, it's, it's okay. It's not great. And we're like, this is so good. And we started laughing because we realized it's because we hadn't eaten any carbs in like three weeks or so that it suddenly tasted so good again. How many are eight? One, two, three, four, five, five. I'm not making them even. We have to wait for this to preheat to 375 and then let cook for 9 to 12. John has his little milk concoction going for his stuff. And we got some water coming to a boil to do some eggs. Oh, taste us. <laughs> okay. We're gonna crack these and make John's scrambled egg. 
the water's boiling, so I'm gonna go in here. And then... Like the little show. Look at this. 375. The rolls are going in. 9 to 12. We're gonna have some English muffins. These are the sourdough ones. I like the, these are good too, but I really like the cinnamon protein ones they have, but they were out of stock, so they sent this instead. These are going in. So we have my apples I used a spoon with, <laughs> cutie, and then some poached eggs on an English muffin. John ate some of his eggs, but he has cuties and apple. Everyone's personal opinion on the it's right Thursday. portion size is good and valid. That was Sunday for some reason. We learned a lot in our previous episode about the episode. Hey guys, we're back from Stage Combat, and we're about to go to Into the Woods. We got out at 5.20, so... It's 5.35. 5.35. And we have to be there between 8 and 8.20. It might be a three-hour show, guys. I don't... But anyways, we're gonna make... I have not had this since I was a child, and I would be at my dad's office. He works across from a Target. So when I'd go to his office, we'd walk over to the tar Target with my mom and get food. And <laughs> we would get these as a kid, my brother and I. So John's going to try these for the first time. And I'm going to try them for the first time in a very, very, very long time to see if they even taste good. For the fun of making a what I eat in a day, we're going to have some nostalgic food. I hope these don't suck. <laughs> so gamers, they canceled the multiplayer Last of Us game. <sighs> I'm trying to hold back tears. <laughs> I won't do it. I'm feeling sad. You just start sobbing like a million. <laughs> Guys, my hair is absolutely crazy. It's a mix of bed head and workout hair. We're gonna have to shower before we leave because this is just not. This ain't it. Okay. Remove film and then you're going to remove the chicken nuggets and sprinkle packets. Let's do that. But we're gonna remove anything that's in here, so just pull it back. The entire thing? No, not all of it. Oh. Oh. I don't remember how to do this, okay? My mom would do it for me. I got seven. What? Lucky. <laughs> you can go first. Okay. Actually, I'll go first, and then so yours is more fresh than mine is. Oh, thank you. They right. changed the penguin though. I don't remember it looking creepy. I remember it being a cute little cartoon, and now it's this creepy AI thing. That would haunt my nightmares as a kid. No thank you. It comes with white meat chicken patties, macaroni and cheese, corn, and a fudge brownie with celebration sprinkles. 14 grams of protein. Wait. Guys, I am so... The end of Vlogmas is gonna look crazy. I'm gonna be huge. I watch Caroline Manning. And she has like an oval face and she got her wisdom teeth out and she, her cheeks were like inflamed, right? I already have a round face. So either that's gonna hide it and I won't look as crazy, like it won't be as significant of a change. Maybe. Maybe it'll like just look normal. Maybe it's just if you have like an oval face that shows more. I don't know. Or I'm just gonna look ten times chipmunky. I don't know, we'll find out. I'm just scared of like 
becoming unconscious and then all of a sudden waking up in a car and like leaving like i'm just scared for like the waking up part like what was that like when you would go under for surgery and then you would just wake up and like be conscious in the car again i no i would because for my surgery i had to stay overnight oh so you'd wake up in the hospital i woke up in the bed i heard talking so i go under and like you see your vision you just go black yeah, no, I'm so scared for that and part. Then, and then it, you're just dreaming, and then you just like does, slowly does wake it feel up. Feel like you're just asleep, like as if it was nighttime. I think so. And then I would just like hear talking, but I had my eyes closed, so I wouldn't like really like I couldn't open it if I wanted to because my body was still like asleep, but I was like conscious. And then I got slowly like became like aware. I hate that. And everything was like. No, it's gonna be like a horror movie. No, that's my, I'm scared of that part, guys. Just, just going under. But I also don't want to be aware of it because I had my, I've had like six teeth pulled, six and a half, because my adult teeth came around my, my baby teeth. So my baby teeth, most of them, they didn't fall out naturally. They were all, it's a little story time while the food's being cooked. They came in around, like I had my adult teeth coming in my gums. I had them behind. I looked like a shark. It was crazy. I had like three rows of teeth essentially. So I had braces. I had, um, what's it called? Palette. What's it called? Like a palette extender. No, no, but I had a palette extender up here. I had like a um, palette bar thing. I don't remember what it's called, but it's this white thing that you had to shove here that you could take out. It was a whole process, guys. Anyways, now we're here. Um, I just remember getting, I had to get six of my, my it was my four canines, a molar, and then a different, like a back one, and then another other one to get pulled of baby teeth. And my brother was like, there's a satisfying crunch. And I'm like, ew, Felix, that's disgusting. There was, it was quite satisfying, but I feel like I'm gonna be scared of all the drilling noises of like the fact, cause mine are under. There's no roots and they're like under, so they're like, this is the perfect time to get them out. But that means I have to slice it open. Ooh, gross. Mm -mm. I just can't. I don't, I don't know, guys. Oh, wait, John's putting my sprinkles on. Hold on. We have our nuggets. We have our mac and cheese. Here's this brownie that looks like lava and corn. I'm going to use it for both of ours. Okay. It's a lot. Of it's a lot of sprinkles. This is the mac and cheese. Ink it. Oh, ink it. Oh, it's on your, sh your pants. Not bad. It's not bad. It's kind of like craft. The corn. Tastes like corn. Chicken nugget. A lot softer than I thought it was gonna be. Could use ketchup. It tastes like a nugget you microwaved. If you let it air fry and make it crispy, it would taste good. It's like a cosmic brownie. It tastes like chemical brownie. As a child, 10 out of 10. As an adult, it's not bad. 8 out of 10. Yeah. As a child, 10 out of 10 because I love this. As an adult, 8.5 because it tastes decent and it was 2 bucks. Bye guys. Bye bye. Hey everyone. We are lightening up our moods by playing the new update for Ready or Not. I'm making John a mocha, which is coffee with chocolate powder, basically. So I'm using hot cocoa mix. We have this Swiss mix, Swiss mix. That has marshmallows. I'm just crushing the marshmallows currently. And we're gonna use some Tim Hortons Keurig pod. You're gonna put some of this, you don't need the whole packet. So basically, it's just, I use it for the milk warmer. So we just put the nap to the line, let it sit, it's about three minutes. Also, all you coffee experts, I know you're out there. I don't know the actual recipe to a mocha. I just know it's coffee and chocolate. So this is how I make it. So normally I would have put the milk and mixed it, but, oh, there's one. Smells good, guys. Mm, it tastes good. 
Hey guys, I am back and it is 11.37. Your girl's a bit hungry. The show was really good though. They had this full elaborate set with all these like pathways and greenery and stuff. It was really cool. And they had this full on cow thing. Yeah, it was like a model puppet cow thing. I don't know, crazy. But I've never seen Into the Woods. I saw the movie part of it, but I never finished it. Then I've never seen the musical. First act, I was like, okay, I think I get I, I, this tracks for what I saw in the movie, but the second half was like, you know, feeling like it was almost midnight. So I was like, I feel like I'm hallucinating half of this. It was chaotic, but really well sung. I don't want to eat guys, but I'm hungry. A bowl of cereal? I feel like that's easy. It's definitely hard to keep a consistent schedule because every single day is different for me. Monday, I'm starting at 11 and I go till 7. Tuesday, I start at 8.30. Thursdays and Fridays are my easiest because Thursdays, I have an 8.30 till 10.20 and then I don't have class till 4. And then tomorrow, I literally have one class till 12.50. So that's why they've been inconsistent of what time of day they get posted. I'm trying my best. Plus, it's my first vlogmas, so. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying all that said. Honey roasted, honey bunch of oats without the almonds. Ooh. I really like the oat milk, M A L K. It's like this organic oat milk. They only have it at like select stores around here. So I just got this in our Walmart order. It's some extra creamy oat milk. Oh. Guys, I made a mess. <laughs> Cheers. I don't know, I kind of just like it all. This is a good cereal. But I'm also a multi-grain Cheerio person. There's like a photo of me, my cousin feeding me Cheerios, multi-grain Cheerios with chopsticks. I don't know. I've liked it since a kid, I guess. Makes me feel like my grandpa, though. Because he makes cereal with seven different flakes and whatever. He's like six different ones he'll mix together. Not relating to food, but what I was up to today. After you last saw me eating, <laughs> I applied for ShopMy. I have a, like a closet and you can make shelves of like your favorite things so you guys can go and check out anytime I mention a product, I can link it there for you guys. But I specifically did one for my December favorites. I linked all the products so you guys can just go directly and find them. And I shared them on my Instagram, which is CC Curtis. Two S's. I'm working on one right now for the gift guide. I already made a, like a PDF Google Doc that I linked in the comments, but if this one's easier, I'm just gonna do this one as well. So there's two ways to navigate. Yeah. John's pouring the bowl of cereal on the floor. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up. John's setting up Shark Tank. Fine. Oh, hi Lando. Just in case I don't get hungry. I'm gonna say bye guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my food. <laughs> like I said at the beginning of this video, every day is completely different. Also today we weren't really at school because we also do food from school. They just this semester reopened some parts of the cafe so they added the grill. I get like quesadillas and nachos and stuff from them. So every day is kind of different for me. In our last Walmart order, I got some little snack packs basically. They're like little I got almonds, I got dashios, I got a thing of cashews. Just to have something to throw in our bag. Just to wrap it up, every day's different, every person's different. This just happened to be Thursday, December 14th for me, so. Oh, you know what I would have loved? If I had avocado, I love avocado toast. Anytime I have a chance to make avocado toast, I gladly will make that. That would have been really good with a poached egg and a runny yolk, which I didn't do today. I cooked it too long, but that is chef's kiss with some everything but the bagel seasoning. Done. Anyways, trying out the kids cuisine. I can't believe we found that. I literally thought they discontinued those. I felt like those like like um what were they called? Those plates that were shaped like animals. Actually, I think the Cheerios I was eating was on one of those. Like the animal plates. I'll insert the photo. So you'll see. I'm gonna say goodnight so I can start editing and just go hang out over there. Bye guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, John says bye. I'll see you in the morning. Well you'll see me in the morning and come back for day 15 tomorrow guys we'll see we'll figure it out tomorrow together john's watching vlogmas day 13 as he eats his cereal <laughs> cheers bye guys